What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play the Kingdom of Portugal. And in this episode we are heading off a Persian force that's attempting to attack us at Tbilisi. So let's take them out. I fear this army may be stuck around this part of the world for some time. Um, but we only need to stay here for as long as it takes for Georgia to be able to build up more of a garrison. And then this army can potentially either push on towards Isfahan or attack Dagestan or do something else entirely. Um, but either way, I think it's better we attack the Persians before they enter our territory and cause problems. We can then retreat back to Tbilisi, recover, replenish and then wait for the next attack while we continue our operations elsewhere in the world. So let's get my guns. Hmm. On this high ground. So we're going to play play defensively. Have our artillery firing largely over our heads. My line deployed like so will be okay. My frontiersmen deploy in skirmish order. Head of the guns. I'm hoping them being slightly crouched down will help protect them. Grenadiers on the left. Pikemen protecting the artillery. And then pair off my cavalry on either flank. Making sure all my tribal auxiliary are fire at well off. But now, general behind the line. So the job of the howitzers is to try and knock holes in their infantry formations. So my artillery can feel free to engage their artillery. My howitzers attack their other units. They've got cavalry on the right flank advancing. So let's get my probe auxiliary up in position. Ready to engage the enemy when they push up. So Martelou is doing counter battery. And again, because it's raining, we've got sound shenanigans. Camels are charging and the skirmish cavalry is charging. However, my cuirassier uh, are enough to defeat them. Once we get a volley off from the tribal auxiliary... They appear to have taken their time. Taking too long. Push my cavalry up here on the other flank. Actually, first of all, Colonial Lights push up first. Take the hit. Actually, no, they've already fired their volley, so my Household Cavalry just go get them. No, heavy cavalry. You're supposed to be going in as well. My probe auxiliary which were meant to pin, my heavy cavalry were meant to do the damage. So my artillery is still doing a grand job attacking the enemy. Infantry formations, we've broken this camel unit on the flank and they are shattered. So format my cavalry again and recover. Get the cuirassier into the camel gunners, make sure your fire will off. Accidentally popped you guys out of formation. We're actually losing the artillery fight. You are going to canister shot Belayin, who's the colonial. She sent my colonial cavalry on a on adventure. Withdraw the cavalry. You and push up the right flank. So we can try keep the keep the guns engaging other battlefield targets because I don't think they're going to be they're going to be super bothered about their artillery imminently. Quick going to be doing a great job. Fire it will open the tribal auxiliary by their volley. Fire it will off. Gracier attack the Zuandari horsemen. 
he might cavalry pushing up and engaging the camel gunners on the flank I mean this infantry block here is probably going to get itself into trouble dump into square formation to hit try hit the general's bodyguard they have camel nomads to the rear but they're not going to stop us from getting the charge off I mean their artillery has done a really quite good job actually I think a part of it, I don't know how much part of it is going to be them attacking the it's going to be them attacking the uh, artillery, my uh, my um, uh, pikemen and it just being misses so I've got to keep an eye on this fight for now, everything's going well elsewhere okay good, pull my light cavalry back Commit my cow. Or commit my pikes. You charge the levy. To get this light ca this light cavalry to beeline towards the front. Get my artillery to try and engage the camels. They've just snagged my light cavalry, but I want to keep them moving. So my pikemen are pushing in. Roll along the line with the pikes. Swing into the back of these musketeers because they're already wavering. And my pikemen, yeah, just keep moving along the front. Get my crossier in. Get the howitzers to both engage this desert warrior unit to the rear. They've gone after my light cavalry quite conclusively with the camel nomads, and that itself is fine. I mean, they're going through, should go through the levee pretty rapidly. Very well. You men get into the enemy rear. This infantry plus skirmishers push up to the net. Ooh. Shut to about here. Keep attacking with round shot. Tribal Auxiliary knocked out the Chief's bodyguard. We're going to back up my Curacier here and go after the Camel Nomads. New men charge the enemy. I should go for the Kizzle Bashi in the rear. Artillery's firing long shots. Getting my round shot on my foot artillery. Although someone wants to play. Oh, it's because you guys routed but then came back. Get you men out of this formation push you up, begin to engage the next enemy line. Colonial White Horse, engage the levy. You men pivot against the mercenaries. You men get out of here. Charge into the bowmen from the rear, causing two wave rings. Broken. Okay, you chase after that unit, general chase after them, but they're shattered anyway. Great, so everyone who isn't cavalry or pikemen. Shore up the line, cavalry get out of the way. Especially the tribal auxiliary, you've just done a lot of friendly fire there. Although, the enemy is routing en masse. Nice, okay. So I'm going to end the battle there just because it's raining and no sound. But still, it's the first battle I've played in. Actually, it's my foot. It was a pretty good weekend. Just knackered. Right. The Mr. Salazar. Replenish it to Blissey. Starting to get our defensive forces built up. And the same is being. It can be said about both of these territories. They are getting to a point where. They are more than capable of protecting themselves. You're up here pushing Ufa. You're pushing Gdansk. You're moving back to Hanover. Got an army sieging Warsaw. And I'm inclined to kind of let this happen the way it's going to happen. I think once I take these two, I might make those. That's the bounds of the Saxon Empire. But I do like 
that they are growing. Brycor, Copeland, Zessin, Grenadiers, Prince Albrecht, Chevrolet, nice. So as part of my attack on the Dutch, I'm going to want to do this. Because I'm going to want to be in a position to out to get hit these to get these units um intercepted on a bridge battle that's what i would like and you're going to be positioned ready to jump on alone to prevent them from pushing and being up to no good all my other armies are largely in position same as here plains nations so we're probably going to knock these off in a particular order well, not necessarily a particular order, but an order. So what I'm going to want to do... So we've got the... We, well, I'm not going to declare war on all of them at once. That's the main thing. So I'm going to do Plains Nations. Declare war. Don't call my allies in. It will call the Dutch in. So we've lost all of our political agreements because they're protector it overrules anything that they have with me and they now they're indifferent to us <laughs> however let's maybe send you in first yep so we got intercepted so this our unit on the bridge here intercepted us they're bringing in the garrison to help but that's fine we deploy this smart. We're probably going to... Well, this, the first army is going to knock out the garrison, largely. Then the second army is going to sweep in and capture the territory. Then the army in near Philadelphia that's being raised will sail on and land near the Inuit. And then that will be all of the Americas secured. Oh yeah, am it's ambush, technically speaking. Not that I'm actually that bothered because... The ambush is actually... I mean, the scary units are the other direction. So run my... My militia plus two units to face off against the ambushing army. Move up my artillery... towards where the actual enemy is going to arrive from. Native Bowman Auxiliary are going to stand up behind the line. Frontiersmen push up to here. Yeah, he's the general I've pushed into the line. Push my cavalry up. Yeah, there's the bowmen. Run them down. Surround and destroy the warrior society. The rest of my militia army, the militia units, push up to the next battle line. So the tribal auxiliary chased down the bowmen. The fifth light horse storm down here. Help out. Help attack the next chieftain's bodyguard unit here. Okay, let's maybe. Because they're starting to run straight into us. Let's form our defensive line a little bit further behind than where we were thinking. Native Bowman Auxiliary form up behind the line. My Tribal Auxiliary, just your job is just to hold them up. Okay, let's maybe do something like this so I can put one gun team into the line. Meanwhile, everyone's attacking the last Chief's bodyguard. We killed him. So this infantry is going to form up a second line. Colonial Light Cav plus you guys push up over here. 
fire at will. Off. This tribal auxiliary, their job was just to buy time, and they're doing it admirably. This infantry spread out, so you can get another artillery unit in the line. Howitzer and Limber. My tribal auxiliary are going to beat their tribal gunners. Actually, let's maybe take these two units out wide. Aha! And here they come. Okay, tribal auxiliary, get back over onto one of the flanks. You and Limber. Let's put some more firepower on this flank. Okay, they're shattered as well. That's nice. Canister shot with mounted tribal gunners. These units push up into the warriors first. The tribal auxiliary storm in. Frontiersmen hold here. The militia got caught. Don't shoot him. Melee only once they've been pinned by the militia. Pull back to a new line. Charge on into the next native warrior unit and limber. So again, it's a, it's a question of holding up the enemy for now. Prepare to drop another gun team down. Maybe run another infantry unit over here. Gunners engage the warrior society. New men just pour, pour fire into them. Let's get aggressive on this front. My, gen my uh, general's going to chase down the Warrior Society because it's broken to make sure it shatters. Okay, that's attracting attention here, so pull you men back with your cavalry good they're shattered bringing the general back oh my, I left one there how it's a uh, limbered up not to be used So again, my cavalry to shoot into the new enemy. Canister shot. Could climb the bowman on the flank. So they're trying to f go mission around, see if they can find a, a boundary. Massed artillery fires and a real number on those guys. 
a pursue with my cavalry. But also these guys, they've broken just from... They've not lost lots of men. But that garrison boat unit has lost one guy. And that's enough. Artillery re-engage that warrior society in the middle of nowhere. And my general over here ready. Get this militia to also open fire. Fire. Keep on engaging. How oh, it says smack the bowmen, and then I think that'll be everything. Misses or near misses. The guns are turning. More shells coming in. Good hit. Cease fire. General take him out. Nice. So speed forward. Speed up time. Yes. Okay, let's get as many kills as we can. So with the next army, it should be that much more of a mop-up operation. I mean, we can't get to the capital yet, so that'll be for next turn. But still, we've broken the back of the Plains Nations people's strength. And it's a classic example of why uh, I very much am not looking forward to playing Native Americans, because the... Uh, yeah, they they broke almost immediately. Nice. Good old Plains Nations peoples. They've fallen before our might. Yeah, they have a thousand fighting men remaining. Oh, and they've retreated the wrong side of the river. So if you can get to the bridge and hold it while you guys sprint for the hills. Nice. Just one enemy attacked. Let's take crew another sloop. We don't need to worry about movement points because we're not actually let's put the rake on here as well. It's going to be superficially useful. So, the Inuit. Inuit nations, also a protectorate of the Dutch. Declare war. Don't call my allies in. And land. I'm sure my ship is probably going to be okay there. With my agent on it, but even if he dies, that's okay. If he dies, he dies. Just put a couple of units, not for any grand purpose, but just have a bit of an army left here at Philadelphia for defensive purposes. Oh, there's the sloop. So let's cancel your recruitment. Then in Europe. Actually, this one, we may want to use our movement points. We may want to keep our movement points. And then say, attack Denmark. Declare war. Don't call our allies in. They're only a Dutch ally. And by the looks of it, we can land in their port and storm up to the capital. I mean, I'm just going to auto that. It's, it looks impressive, but that's a nothing army right there. That would be a pointless battle. That's Denmark secured. Get rid of the shipyard. We don't need it. Let's get stuff built. Down here at Belfast. Recruit two sloops to sail up and occupy those ports. Yeah, so that's Denmark destroyed. 
to the next one that's not not tricky per se, but it's the one we're going to have to, I mean, well, not fight properly. They've not really got much strength as it is. But Morocco is one we want to fight. Very friendly. And again, this is going to be heavily impacting our trade. But now our tax is to nearly 200,000. Trade is, is 92,000. Um, I think we can can afford to lose some of our trade here. Now we have control of the strait, so this army is going to storm across the town city of Tangier, um, and we are going to fight it with a bit of a ragtag reinforcement, because why not? Now let's put the light infantry up front first. Actually, the cavalry might be more immediately useful. But yeah, well, let's fight. So we're going to play a bit defensively, because we want to see where the enemy reinforcements come in from, um, but once we win, we will be able... This That will be Morocco... Uh, captured, then we need to build some church schools to begin the conversion of the local population. And then we definitely do have control over the Straits of Gibraltar. And then this army, when it's finished, may sail to the Don to support that attack. And yes, we are going to play defensively because we get a cool, got a cool option here to fight defensively. So, my, my rockets, rocket artillery, plus my howitzers form up here. Let's use my irregulars. It's the best place to put you guys. I'm not going to storm up and take the town. Take, oh, no, I'm gonna, probably going to try and hold, like, the these buildings are going to be my line. So I'm not going to go crazy. Let's put my... Some Grenadiers and Marines up front. Engineers form up here. I might actually have a hard right flank. Like this. And then... Got a bunch of lights and regulars to fight on the left. And that's where the bulk of my cavalry is going to be on the left. Lancers. No, actually, let's keep my lancers mobile. Let's get my cuirassier to support the right. My, uh, my foot artillery might actually try and advance up to here. So if I take you guys, if I take my marines form up here get my artillery form up they've all hit the same unit which if they don't if i actually spread them out would have been a lot more conclusive grenadiers hold here Put rockets away that's the shadows of rockets There's a warriors are wavering. So my right flank is actually going to be quite useful. Okay, that, I might actually just pull my foot artillery back. Keep them safe. Keep them safe, but not actually... We're not going to get much use out of them. Now you need to uh, secure this central position. Lights and regulars are going to hold the left with a lot of cavalry support. So here comes some howitzer of fire. Trying to focus on the camels. I think rockets are another one where as soon as you, you try and make them shoot, they start getting funny. Yeah, like now they're moving. So I have to just halt, let them fire at will, whoever they wish. Ooh, danger close. But it worked. The human form square. 
Household Cavalry, Smash the Pirates, Light Cav Sharpshooters, Keep Moving, Fire It Will Off, Form Square, because the cavalry's coming, Drop New Targets, actually attack that area there with Quick Climb, attack ground. They're all going to start coming through here, this, this bottleneck. Well, here we go. Yeah, they're coming through this bottleneck and it's going to end badly for them. Keep the square strong, fellas. Another Camel Nomad unit coming in. If I hold and fire it will with you again, more hits through that central area. So the enemy reinforcements are coming in from back here. Okay, howitzers retarget. my other cavalry keep holding it looks like this flank isn't as much of a threat as it was rocketry coming in close okay let's get a, a regular unit inside the town hall you men secure the armory. I mean, shattered, shattered, broken. Like, this is just, just let them do what they're going to do. Ultimately, I'd like you guys to form up, form a gun line, ready for this general's bodyguard. With the lances on the flank, some light cavalry sharpshooters. The artillery is going to keep coming in. Barrier wheel is going to be lifted now. With our sharpshooters. Get the lances to charge. And they're pushing up again. Barbara Pirates who killed the general. The lances will be enough to see them off. So we've still got Barbary Pirates coming in, but they're just basic melee troops, they're not that good. Focus our artillery on the mobile camel elements. Let's get the Lancer Guards really out of the way. Get my light cavalry sharpshooters in position and reloading. Yeah, camel unit's broken. Is that my rockets away? It is. Put a volley into the general's bodyguard. So just just attack them normally. Excellent. Push forward, men. Let's assume they keep moving out. Charge, actually charge my Lancer Guard into the Desert Warriors. My Household Cavalry have got these guys. Where's my Cuirassier as well? They will be useful when the time comes, although they are actually going to deal with these Barbary Pirates. Keep 
fighting the Camelot Nomads, the sharpshooters get involved. How it says switch to round shot. Most of my army just run up to the next, head off the next army. General gets stuck in as well. Marines get stuck in. Camels are the trickiest element they've got left to play. To my cuirassier. Get over here. More rocketry inbound. All my lighter cavalry is countercharging the nomads. They may break. Yep, yeah, they broke. So that cavalry withdraw. All my cavalry withdraw. Then my battle lines do some lifting. Push forward. Now try and push my artillery up. See if they want to do anything, but I fear they will be too late. Good old Barbary Pirates. Rockets inbound. I mean, the range on those rockets is really good. No, oh, you men form up. I hope you've got loaded muskets. Volleys coming in from the right flank. Let's see if they do enough. They fire their volley. They can withdraw with honour. There they go. See, inwardly, I bet they're thinking, oh, but we're. We intercept... No, I oh know, sorry, I'm... I thought they intercepted us, no. We are attacking them anyway. Yeah, they're not even going, Hi, hey, if we... Play smart, they have to come at us. Fire your volley skirmishes. Counter charge. Okay, rockets. Move up. Oh no, they are definitely shattered. Nice. It looks like that is the last of the reinforcements coming in. Which is extra nice. Push the flank in. Oh, they're in position. Ah, oh, they're in a, they've got a bit of a defilade. Not lost many men though, they're very unhappy. There they go. Actually, no, hold. Sharpshooters move up. Let's take you guys, push you forward. Just a second. There we go. Something like this. You guys push up to the left. Artillery can't really get involved. Lancers hit the Lancers hit the Amazons. Just to make sure they 
perish. Get my Corsier over here. I'd very much like to knock out this last unit of camels. There they go. Sharpshooters chase them down. Okay, I believe it is time for Swarm, Swarm, Swarm. Attack Pattern Alpha. Push in. Surround. Destroy. Nice. Take the shoot of Barbary Pirates. It's these guys up here that might take... They'll take the most damage. They've got an uphill run. But the first unit is providing a shield. The engineers behind them. There we go. Yeah, we didn't even make it. They didn't even survive the first charge. They broke. Excellent. Viva la Portugal. Decisive victory. Morocco is ours. The Noose Titans. So they've been pushed back. Doesn't matter. We've taken Morocco. Unsurprisingly, they really don't like it. Because we are an evil Catholic power. Let's get replenishing. Do you have university? Does not look like it. We're probably going to get rid of both of these shipyards. Get upgrading. Minus three, which means if we exempt them from tax, they'll immediately chill out. Yep, you guys are replenishing. They're 100% Catholic anyway, which means this agent, we're already converting Cairo. Push on towards Jerusalem. He's going to do some converting along the coast. Algier still has some way to go, but yes, Tangier is secure. For the greater Portuguese Empire. And we can already display some of these surplus sloops to take up position as guard ships. Excellent. So you're waiting. Okay, you're gonna pin Cologne just to make sure they can't they didn't push out from it. I want to see them get intercepted here. That would be really fun. So that's all been done. So the only one in Europe that we could do anything about is Dagestan. But we can't quite do anything about them yet. We don't have the troops. You are replenishing and you require one unit of something. But I'm not sure where you're going to get it from. You're going to have to take something you can get from Crimea although that's mostly cavalry let's get a garrison I oh, know we can't rec we can't advance at the recruitment they can wait four turns that's okay um, doo -doo -doo. you're really happy so this army may actually go to eh, you, no we're blockading them quite conclusively Spain can't really do anything if they want to, if they push on and take Turin, that'll be a problem, and then we will attack the Italian peninsula. But for now, I think I want to keep focusing on attacking Russia. And right now we've got a couple of reasonably good sieges going on, so I'm happy to leave them alone. Okay, you're on the way back to Hanover in case they try and break out to the east. So this may be. Get a couple more units of infantry recruited. Right, in terms of tech, nothing massive. Shrapnel would be useful. Devor is going for diamond formation to get the bonus to command and commanding cavalry. I think that's everything we really want to do. The main thing is we're keeping Austria sweet for now. When we take the Dutch. Oh yeah, that's what I was, oh, was kind of, uh, okay. That's a, a bold strategy indeed. United Provinces to abandon your capital. Actually, you're not abandoning your capital. 
you are attacking with full strength or most of your strength against this force here so what we're going to do we can only fight it so we're going to fight it we've only got one large army the rest of it's kind of piecemeal but we're going to do it let us defend and it is quite a gamble what they've done here they've left their capital uh, entirely exposed so yeah we're going to fight completely defensively artillery in the line the howitzers need to do some serious work but overall i think we're going to be okay we've got a good army we can put out a good amount of firepower we should be okay even if we're not okay we've still got two armies to the northwest so we can plug the gap should a gap occur Ooh. So, we've got a town, but I don't want to defend in the town, because that... Defending in the town doesn't allow us to put our... to bring our firepower to bear. So we may have to chicken out and stay this side of the town. So let's deploy everyone like this for now. That's handy. Okay, so let's take two units. We deploy right at the back of our deployment zone. Actually, no, don't need two. Take just the one. Take three infantry units and deploy them. Take another force artillery unit and deploy them. going to put a guerrilla unit inside the house when we can. The other guerrilla unit is going to be ready to place stakes. As will this unit of engineers. So the only people we haven't deployed. We haven't deployed most of our cavalry, which is fine. Obviously we haven't deployed our howitzers, but they're going to end up being here. Almost exclusively, because you haven't really got Great places to deploy them anyway. So who have we got? General, horse grenadier guards, they're gonna be on the right. Plus these two infantry units, they're gonna deploy here as a bit of a reserve. It seems super cowardly. Do what I'm doing. I get it. <laughs> I really do. Yeah, I do not want to. Don't want to fight in the town. I need to do some killing. Howitzers are out of range. Switched to round shot. Place stakes. Mercenaries in the farmhouse. Let's take one unit of line infantry to hold the left. I'll even take both of these units and plonk them on the left because that's where there's a. Uh, so one of the reinforcing armies is coming in. Plus skirmishes. Engineers, be a bit of a reserve. Look at that for a line of stakes. Oh yeah. Interesting house out there to occupy, but I don't think it helps us. Artillery cannot, cannot really appear to do much because there's too many things in the way. So it's going to be my howitzers that, how that provide the first hits and looks like they're all going to go for that unit of horse grenadier guards. Can you engage? No, those demi cannons are far off. But the hope is, when they push through the town, they're going to be the formations are going to be ragged. They're not going to be able to form up, and we're going to be able to blast them. 
That's the hope. So I'm going to speed up time here because right now it's just artillery going to town on well, this cavalry unit plus friends. Okay, my heavy horse howitzer unit go for the next unit of light dragoons. 24 pound of foot howitzer unit go for the 8th foot guards. Excellent shot, sir. Actually, you might be in a uh, position to quick learn yourself. There we go. 40 marines have been killed. They're going to attack through the city of Cologne. I wish we could, we could occupy this and just have guys shooting from the bell towers. But sadly not. Horse grenadier guards, horse grenadier guards, dragoons. Get these engineers over here as well. Help try and offset the disadvantage we will be at. My general is going to be here, but he's going to be behind the line. Don't fire across yourself. That's a recipe for disaster. Just attack ground here, because if any misses might hit some of the cavalry. Okay, oh, I think all my... Hey, we killed that general. You're right, retarget my howitzers to shoot at things that aren't about to push in. General's bodyguard charged, but at great cost. Horse Grenadier Guards is shooting. Are you going to dismount? Are you going to skirmish us? Are you going to skirmish us? That's okay, we can handle that. Another General's Bodyguard unit is going to charge in. Is he going to hit the stakes and die a glorious death? Yes, he is. And that's exactly why we have the stakes. Go on, these engineers. Make ready your... Your muskets are full. Form square. Hit the dragoons. Canister shot the cuirassier. You may just attack a unit of hussars. These cuirassier are a bit stuck. Now they made it through to hit my general. Should he fall, he will fall serving our people. Good. Form up the engineers. Where's my horse grenade guards? They are need to be up here to counter skirmish. My general is doing good. Now it says retarget. Artillery's moving up. Oh, the enemy first light horse. Right, they've been pushed back. Come the first foot guards. No, they're not going to survive first contact. These engineers are also in dire straits. So the first wave has been repelled. Keep engaging the first foot guards. They may be steady, but the artillery is incoming. Got a few. There's the officer. The officer survives. 
quick climbs coming in against targets behind them. Okay, one to be aware of. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, we're being hit by extra sh extra fire. Try to hit this enemy concentration pushing through the town. I want to see. Are there any musket? Are there any barrels ready to fire? Because I really want to see that happen. There we go. He's cleared his barrel. Will he hit this block here? Oh God, alive! They're using chemical warfare. How could they? Yeah, now they're pushing up because they realise they cannot sustain that loss rate. More glorious quick climb. Okay, the artillery on the left starting to engage. Let's see if my Let's see if my heavy horse artillery can counter. Maybe one gun can shoot. Very steep trajectory, but first shot. How do they do? Overshot. Quick climb, on the other hand, is just is really doing the business here. They can't push through this area without getting carpet bombed by quick climb, which is glorious. I can't believe for the longest time I just thought, now nah, these all these area effect shots are really bad. But then someone said, no, try quick climb. It's really good. And I tried it. And, oh my god. Massive convert. So these are the 5th Marines. The 15th Marines. 5th Regiment of Fusiliers. I mean, you feel bad for these guys, because they're just... They're just going to get smashed. Okay, one of my Howard's units re... Oh, you can't really... Blink of that Dragoon unit. These guys are now all mostly too close. Twenty more pound of foot, go after the 14 foot guards. Fire! All right, the volleys of musketry. Oh, there you go. Okay, canister shots come in. No, didn't even get to fire their muskets. Use the laser. Creating a bit of an imposing sight. It very much feels like that first... First enemy force has... Just been annihilated. Reinforcements are storming it at pace, but... Not fast enough. So they're running to join the battle before it's too late but I fear it is too late they're just trying to run out of quick climb range there is no out of quick fire quick climb range into the woods oh there comes some cavalry right, they can't they're not gonna get lured in by the stakes they go advanced up into the woods oh no they're falling back. It's the 15th that remain. 50 men out of 225. And they're still coming. Just. That's the end of that. Beautiful. Again, as they're maneuvering around, before they get into our positions, Let's uh, let's just 
I mean, you're getting hit by lots of stray musket balls. You're ready to fire? So you're going after the Marines on the left. Oh, misfire. They didn't, they didn't kill a single chap. Let's see. Are they actually attacking us anywhere? Or are they simply... I've smashed that marine unit. Yeah, I think they're pulling back. They're pulling back to regroup. Doesn't normally happen. Starting to advance. Oh, they're advancing in a very bad formation there. They're advancing right into the open ground. Perfect for my horse artillery. To thrash them with cannons to shot. They're eager. The fools charging in. Well, they've still got a good number of men. There we go. Now they're in range of our volleys. Who's that? Oh, it's the Marines coming in. Wavering. Quick claims come in and caught the corner of one of the formations. One horse artillery. It's through the woods. You can just see them. But well, that gun team's not firing. But the marines are broken. Fusiliers are wavering. Yeah, there go the fusiliers. Keep bombarding. Conscripts. Line infantry, grenadier guards. I haven't even had to commit my cavalry except for the uh, except for the horse grenadier guards. Apart from that, expat infantry coming in. Stick foot guards have come in, actually completely unmolested. Canister makes short work of the second. Skirmishes in the house are still engaging. Head of the head of the marine column is getting engaged with musket fire. It's gonna take a few rounds of fire to knock them out. Okay, retarget how it's a fire against troops that are coming in, not the ones that are currently being engaged. This is this is a, a big blunder for the Dutch. Retarget the seventh with my canister shot. Well, there's the Marines, yeah, the seven foot guards, the Marines. New men here. Engage the first Grenadier Regiment with cast a shot. Those musket misfired. Are we going to open up? Yeah, we've fired. Knocking some holes in the enemy formation. Hopefully, the first will go down pretty quick. Then we can redeploy our guns to shoot at the marines. Hey, yeah, you don't often see them do that. Keep engaging the seventh. Oh, conscripts have been hit badly. Down to roughly a third. Foot guards, <laughs> they're not doing well either. Okay, 
to retarget engineers and the cavalry. Hey, it is cavalry. More horse grenadier guards. The AI does love their horse grenadier guards. But it looks like they're starting to scrape the barrel. Okay, it's round shot. An attack round short of them. It looks like they weren't ready to fire canister shot. They might blast the area with round shot. Hit the engineers. Quick climb hits coming in. Will they, ch will they suicide into our defenses? Well, they've shot our artillerymen, but yeah, but they're going to hit the stakes. Charging through. Fire at will. Engage the 13th foot guards. Engage the second. I mean, at some point, all they can have left back here is their artillery, right? Which we can then mop up with our cavalry. That's my grand strategy. Very novel. Ah, you guys are still being fired upon. Some of our units are going to start running out of ammunition. Ooh, quick climb hits coming in, plus artillery. Yep. Break and run. Just keep scooching the time forward a bit, especially when all they're doing is kind of pushing towards us and not actually... Nothing's really happening. Conscripts have to break soon. So these light dragoons are a bit dodgy. This area doesn't have... St oh, it's got some stakes in it, but not a huge amount. Form square. They're going to get fired upon from units on the flank. Form square. Protect the artillery. And now the Dragoons are just exposed. They're not going to break our square and they're going to get shot in the back by the 36th. Twist around, shot, and engage the Grenadier Guards. Okay. Just clip the corner of the seven. Okay, you're going to have to... Gonna have to risk our general. Try and knock out these dragoons. Got cavalry over there, could use them, not gonna. <laughs> Especially those guys, they haven't done anything. Let's see if we can do it without the general dying. We're down to half strength. They're falling across the board. Some of the glorious mercenaries. Okay, you men form up, fill in the gaps.
Aim at the Scots because they're more elite. He's still pushing troops in. Yeah, they are. Provincial line, provincial line, provincial line. At least I think that's that's now one. Okay, right. Let's push on my grand my cavalry up. Tenth regiment. Oh, yeah, they're taking hits. Yeah, let's push up my horse grenadier guards to attack some of the enemy artillery. Yeah, it's still coming in. Oh, excellent hit with the quick line there. few units of artillery we could take out. To be honest, you guys have done where rude and nothing. Let's get you guys up here as well. Oh yes, they've limbered up. Perfect. go. Lots of their artillery is limbering up. Which means it'll die easier. Still coming in. At least onto the armed citizenry now. Looks like this is the garrison coming in. I mean, this, this episode's definitely overran big time. Okay, go after the second regiment. Eh, you guys hang about a bit. Smack him. Keep hitting the infantry in the town with artillery. For the most part, they're pretty knackered. Okay, might speed up time. But pull my cavalry back to the lines. It's drawing some of the enemy cavalry with enemy infantry in. Switch my howitzers to round shot. It looks like this is the last cluster they have. So you go after the 12th, you go after the 11th. You man chase down the Scots. Chase down the Scots and then try and get it back get back to the line. Because you're going to be vulnerable now. 68 heavy cavalry versus 112 fresh cavalry. Run! Run, heavy cavalry, run! <laughs> Don't turn around and fight them. Flee! See, they're not going to want to do it. They're going to want to fight. But they've got to run. Especially through the stakes. So if they chase after us directly, we want to run straight through somewhere that has stakes. Some of them may die to friendly fire from musketry fruit from the battle line, but we gotta take that gamble. So did 
it work? I hope they weren't lured straight in. Oh, but they're coming now. And we have stakes. Steak, 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 steak. Many, many, many dead dragoons. Beautiful. Again, speed up time. <laughs> so right now, this back, oh, this, this, this episode's going on for a little bit longer than I would like. So let's see if we can get this dealt with. Especially now, it's a bit of a mop-up operation. Yeah, quick climb is gonna crack open pretty much all of these remaining units. Two heavy cavalry units gonna mop up this last line infantry unit. not square formation that's just a block there's not a defensive position choppity chop 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 nice that's one of the enemy commanding units dealt with but let's just quickly mop out this artillery and then call this battle quits. Because my god, this went on a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Woof! Okay. Yeah, we're very. We are very, very late in the episode. Stupid bone. Nice. So, we've managed to keep. Just <laughs> gutted that Dutch force. Oh, Spain has managed to get some ships into a trade zone. They demand wealth of nations for diamond formation? No. Bad trades. Not going to do that trade, see? You can raid as much as you like, Russia. I don't mind. Savoy's helping protect our waterways. There's the Plains Nations that are having to circumvent the uh, river crossing because they can't actually stop us. They're offering to make peace, but there can be no peace. Dagestan's declared on us. Don't call my allies in to help. I don't, I don't want to call my allies in because I don't want to give them a legitimate, quote-unquote, reason to break off the alliance. So let's get all my building done. So when I end the episode for the next, for the for the next episode, uh, all this other extra little stuff will be done. Oh, Gonquin territory gets a weaver's cottage. Georgia gets commercial ports. Yeah, so Dagestan's after us. And that's not the end of the world. If they go for Astrakhan, that'd be frustrating, but not terrible. Let's just demand the surrender of Ufa. And then church schools for days. And then this army march on to Kazan. Ufa can keep its government building for now. Workers on strike in Morocco. Yeah, not, in them, not anymore, they're not. So much so I can probably even tax them. Let's get these ports rebuilt. these ports built make sure everyone is replenishing good stuff good stuff good stuff one of you <laughs> see if you can demand Amsterdam unsurprisingly not what I might do 
is pull you out just to see no you can't actually get to Cologne anyway so you're going to keep sieging you're going to take Amsterdam keep churning out some support here because you might be needed oh well I might have to just risk it for a biscuit and plonk you guys here to prevent them from crossing the bridge and trying to flank us. You're going to go to Cologne for cover. Brussels can recruit some militia. Actually, why recruit militia when I can recruit some line from Paris? Good. And then what we're going to do is actually, first of all, I mean, I'm going to auto this last action here in Yankton because just get it done. So you guys replenish, build better roads, destroy the farm, upgrade the fur exchange. Roberto Marquez, replenish, push him on back to Philadelphia. It's going to take him a while, but that's okay. Already converting the population and they'll be Christian within two turns. I doubt it, but let's see. Yeah, they very much don't like that idea. Up here against the Inuit. Just put them under siege. And then we're going to end this episode with you attacking Amsterdam. And we've got, we're going to fight it because you've got the Swiss infantry unit to the rear. Let's make sure they die. But looking at the time, we are definitely at the end of the episode. So. Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.